The first time lawmaker was born 63 years ago in Fika, but just how he rose from humble beginnings to join the League of the Wealthiest People in the country still remains a mystery to many. Moore is conservatively estimated to be worth around 25 billion shillings and is believed to have a major stake in many multi-million shillings business ventures. He started his career as a police officer in his early 20s and made his name as a top marksman who participated and excelled in many international shooting tournaments. He was however sacked from the police force for insubordination after he refused to shave his beard, claiming that he had a skin condition that worsened with shaving. The Kilome member of parliament has always cut a mysterious and yet controversial figure, often engaging the state in lengthy court battles whenever he felt his rights had been infringed upon. For instance, in 1980s, he sued the government when his passport was confiscated under unclear circumstances. This was at the height of President Moy's iron fist rule, and at a time when few Kenyans could have dared to take the government to court. Moy later in 1997 appointed Mwau to head the Kenya Anti-Corruption Authority. He was, however, a few years later sent packing after a tribunal was set up to investigate his conduct. Mwau's vast business interests are mainly situated in Nairobi and Mombasa. Among the better known is the Pepe Inland Container Depot, which authorities have in the past claimed is a front for illicit business deals, including drug trafficking, although so far nothing conclusive has been established to confirm the claims. He is also associated with Harun International Limited, an import and export company that supplies electronics to most dealers in the country. Through Harun International, Mao is believed to be the largest supplier of household electronics and appliances, such as TVs, music systems, washing machines, among others. He is also believed to have a substantial stake in the Nakuma chain of supermarkets, the country's largest retail shopping chain. He is also associated with Chatterhouse Bank that was closed after being alleged to be involved in illicit money laundering deals and whose reopening the U.S. government has strongly opposed. He is also linked to the multi-million shilling business venture known as the Village Market, the five-star tribe hotel located within the Village Market, and Kingsway Tires Limited, among other business entities. Sisi lazima tuendelea mbele, raya wapate haki yao. On the political front, Mao had a failed stab at the presidency in 1992 on a peak ticket. But Mao's weight and might was felt in a by-election in Kilome constituency, occasioned by the brutal murder of the then area member of parliament, Tony Dilinge, in November 2001. So elaborate was the campaign that he set up a high-tech satellite communication system to monitor the by-election across the vast constituency. The boss, as Mao is commonly known, finally managed to clinch the Kilome seat in the 2007 general election and was appointed an assistant transport minister. He was later transferred to the trade docket, but stepped aside when he was named in a dossier released by the immediate former U.S. envoy Michael Ranbagher as an alleged drug trafficker. Mo had since threatened to sue the immediate former U.S. ambassador to Kenya on grounds that the ambassador had implicated him in the illicit narcotics trafficking trade. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9.